With COVID-19 restrictions in force, Parang, as other festivals, has not been as prominent as in previous years. The National Parang Association, however, is not daunted and has been doing much to keep the art form in people's hearts. One initiative says the organization's president, Alicia Jagasaw, is bringing back the old-time Parang tradition. We realize that people will not be able to come out to taking any Parang so we are going to go from community to, to community which is one band for the street with the five prisons and you know carry the message of what Christmas is all about to the people not visiting anybody home but just going from house to house in terms of on the street so it's more like a tree house parang festival this year the association is reaching out through media and internet as well we decided to start the season early since we started um, parang because it's always carnival, always impinges on Christmas. So we said if we start from September the first Parang History Month straight into the season. Presently, we are going through Parang History Month. We are doing a live online with um, all the bands came down to five members, mm -hmm. and it's live on work on every Wednesday and Thursday. Well, within this, this period of time, we started workshop on online also. Ms. Jagasa says a truly significant anniversary is coming up for the organization next year, and they are working to acquire land to build a home for the organization. The 50th anniversary celebration is coming up on the 19th of April, 2021. So all our events are now geared towards raising funds for our 50th anniversary, where we really trying to acquire our own home, our own headquarters. So we said, look, let us start the, the, the bid for it. So right now we have funny TNT for donations you know, for all our events because we can't really charge a fee, so we kind of beg in. <laughs> One of the crowning projects they want to achieve, Ms. Jagasa says, is the launch of a National Parang Orchestra, also geared towards their 50th anniversary next year's April.